So it has been almost like a week now and I didn't publish any new videos for my YouTube channel but because I like the more than 500 subscribers of my YouTube channel I decided to make this quick video for you so you can learn something new today. So basically what I'm going to show you is how you can quickly launch a landing page using Cadencebox and then how you can add a model pop-up like this using the model widget of Cadencebox. So this is the topic of this quick video. So now let me get started. So this is the landing page or the opt-in page that I want to add my model pop-up into to ask people to sign up for my newsletter. As you can see, I have designed this using the rolling out of cadence blocks, like a two section or a two column rolling out. The first section will include the content of my page and the second section will include an image for my ebook. Now to add the model pop-up, eh, all you need to do is to click inside the section. I will choose the icon list and then I'll click here and choose to add after because I need to add my um, the button that will trigger the pop-up after the icon list. So I click add after here and then I will add a block and search for model and this is the block that we need to add here. Okay, so now once you do this, this is the default uh, like layout or content of the model pop-up. Here in the right part of the screen, you'll find under the block tab, general settings, style settings and advanced settings. The easiest part is under the style, you'll find the link styling. Link styling here means how do you like the button itself to look like. Let me show you what I mean. For example, here under the color settings, if we choose the link color, if we choose it to be like this accent color, this is the text color itself. Usually I will just leave it as white and then for the link background, remember that the link background means the button itself. I will choose it to be like this. So now we can see we have changed the color and let's you know remove, let's make the border color the same here. And here you'll find also some other settings. For example, under typography, I can choose to increase the font size. Let's make this 25, for example. If you like to make it like this, let's say 35 because I like to make it larger. Maybe you need to add more spacing or padding around this, and this can be done under the padding here. I will choose to unify the padding. Let's make this like uh, 15 pixels. This now looks fine. Maybe, maybe you need to decrease the font size. Let's make it 25. This looks fine. And also here we can, you know, show an icon to the right. Let's choose the icon here. Don't be afraid because once we choose it, everything will look fine. So this is the icon. Um, I need to add the content. Let's see, show the icon, let's switch this off. Oh, I, I have made a mistake here. I just uh, chosen the option to show icon only. This is not good. I need to switch this off too so I can have the text appear. Now, all I need to do is to make this center, I think center align center to the left and now this looks fine so this is our like button what about the pop-up content itself if you click here you'll find the show model content so let's say click here and this is where we can add the content of the pop-up itself and also this is where we can control the styling the display settings of all of our model pop-up i will just make this um Quickly by adding, let's say I will add a heading here and I would say like sign up or complete the form, complete the below form. And then after this, I will quickly add a form, advanced and a cadence blocks form here. Let's create a new form. Let's choose a subscribe with a name. Let's make this basic and let's create a new one. So this is the form that we need to add here. I will make this like center aligned here and I will change this to sign up. Now, for example, okay, so this is what the pop-up will look like. Again, if we go to the uh, model settings and we go to the styling here, we'll find more settings relevant to the pop-up itself. For example, if you like to make this, let's go to general. If you like this to um, be 
coming from the left when it pop up you can make this here if you like to make it center you can choose it from here if also you can change the vertical alignment top or bottom or middle usually we'll make it um, like in the middle also you can change the model size the size uh, the model pop-up width itself usually I leave it at 100 percent under the styling you can you know change the overlay background of the pop-up itself for example if you go here and let's make this like uh, black but I don't like this color I would usually choose this one for example and also I can decrease the transparency of the pop-up now this looks fine to me now let's click save save and let's open the page in another window and let's click here you'll find this is now the um, pop-up will appear here of course we can make a lot of things to the model itself if we go here um, we can add all the text we need maybe we need to click here add after we can add a paragraph here for example add a paragraph here let me fix this and let's make this center aligned if even we can you know duplicate this we can just remove it here or add it here we can add a link to our privacy 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 policy policy here if you like to do this let me fix this and let's add a link here for example let's add this link for our privacy policy I mean you can do a ton of things for the model itself let's open our show model again of course you need to connect your um, form and let's choose the advanced form you can here play you'll find here the settings of the advanced form itself this is where you can connect the form to something like MailerLite or MailChimp or even ConvertKit and also you can set up this to read um, to redirect the users into a new page so let's click save and let's open the page again and let's click add more and here we'll find the new settings of our model pop-up so this is how easy you can create a model pop-up using cadence blocks model widget hopefully you find this video helpful if you like it please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my youtube channel now thank you so much and see you in the next video